How to crochet the cluster stitch. Begin by chaining an even number of stitches. Let's move on to row number 1. We skip the first stitch and into the second one work a single crochet. Work a single crochet into the next one. Now chain 1. Skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next one. And again, chain 1. Skip the next chain stitch and work a single crochet into the next one. Continue the row by chaining 1, skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next one all across until you reach at your last 3 chain stitches. Once you are at the end and you have chained 1 as we did before, we skip the next stitch and work a single crochet in each of the next 2 stitches. So 1 and 1 of the last stitch. For row 2 chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This chain of 4 counts as a double crochet and chain 1. Turn your work. Now we will work into the chain 1 spaces from the previous row. So, skip the first stitch and the second one and into the chain 1 space here we will work the cluster stitch. To do this, yarn over, insert the hook into the space, yarn over, pull out, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the same chain one space, yarn over, pull out, you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the first two. You have three loops on your hook now. Continue until you have five loops. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through the first two. One more time. Yarn over, pull through the first two. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 5 loops. Chain 1 to secure. And now skip the next stitch, the single crochet from the previous row and into the next chain 1 space, work again a cluster stitch. As we did before, 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull out. Yarn over, pull through 2, 3 loops. Continue until you have 5 loops on your hook. 4 Last one. 5 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all 5 loops and chain 1 to secure. Continue like this by skipping the next stitch and into the chain 1 space from the previous row. Work cluster stitch until you reach at your last stitches. Once you are at the end and you have chained one to secure your last cluster stitch, skip the next stitch and to work a double crochet into the last. For all three, chain one and turn. Work a single crochet into the first stitch as the chain one is. Work a single crochet into the chain 1 space from the previous row. Chain 1 and skip the next stitch and work a single crochet into the chain 1 space. And again, chain 1, skip the next stitch, the top of the cluster stitch and work a single crochet into the chain 1 space. Continue the row by chaining 1, skip the next 
stitch the top of the cluster stitch and to work a single crochet into the chain one space from the previous row all across until you reach at your last stitches. Once you are at the end, you have changed one here, you skip the next stitch and you work a single crochet into the next one, the top of the cluster stitch and you will do the last single crochet into the third chain one, two, three, here okay and this is it the cluster stitch what you have to do now is to repeat rows 2 and 3 until you reach your desired length. And this is how your project should look like after a few repeats. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all my new videos, put the like button below and share the video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!